Hello, and welcome to Section 4. In this section, I'll discuss customizations and ServiceNow. However, before we discuss customizations, I'd like to talk about the difference between client-side and server-side. This is a very important concept, not just for ServiceNow, but for any web application. Web applications are very different than your standard desktop applications such as Microsoft Excel, or a photo editor such as Photoshop. Desktop applications store the application data, such as a spreadsheet or photo, locally on your computer's hard drive, and are processed using your computer's CPU, as opposed to web applications, where the data and processing happen in a data center. Throughout this section and the rest of this course, when I talk about client-side, I'm referring to the browser you use to access ServiceNow, whether it be on your desktop, laptop, phone, or even tablet. When I talk about server-side, I'm referring to ServiceNow's data centers where the application servers and database servers are located and instance data is stored. Anytime you want to access data in ServiceNow, the client, or browser, makes a request to the servers in the ServiceNow data center over the internet. The application server receives the request and communicates to the database server where the data is stored. Once the application server receives the data from the database, the server will package it up in a response and send it back to your browser via the internet. Your browser then processes this data and renders it on the screen. Now let's take a look at an example. Say we are viewing a single incident record. The client side has limited access to instance data. So what does this mean? Well, for example, because we requested information about a specific incident, the server sends us a response with only the data related to that incident. If we wanted to view or access more instance data, such as another incident, a request and response to and from the servers would be required. That's what I mean when I say the client side has limited access to instance data. The ServiceNow data centers, or server side, is very powerful but requires network activity for the transfer of data. This naturally takes a bit of time to travel over the internet. The time it takes for a packet to leave your computer, reach ServiceNow's data center, and then return back to your computer is called the round trip time and can be important when troubleshooting network issues. Keep in mind that no matter how fast your internet is, there will always be a slight delay due to the round trip time. One of the greatest things about ServiceNow is its flexibility. There's very little that you cannot change or modify. In addition to this, you can create custom applications, tables, and pages for your business needs that can interact with existing instance data. Customizations can be added to a number of different places within ServiceNow. It can be tricky when first learning about all of these different types of customizations, so I'll go over each customization one at a time. The rest of the videos in this section will cover the following customizations. Client scripts, business rules, script includes, UI actions, UI policies, and data policies.